This week I thought I'd take a break from theory stuff and talk about technique. A slur is a musical notation that can be a little confusing depending on its context. At the very least, when you see one of these curved lines, it's telling you to play those notes with legato articulation, meaning without any separation. There shouldn't be any silence or break between the notes. Each note under the curve should connect right into the next. The way a slur is executed depends on the instrument. A violin, for instance, would play a slur with one bow stroke. A wind instrument would play one without re-articulating or tonguing each note. It would all be played with one uninterrupted breath. On the guitar, slurs are colloquially known as hammer-ons and pull-offs. Hammer-ons and pull-offs are quintessential guitar techniques, and the concept is pretty simple to grasp. For hammer-ons, you throw down a finger onto a fret of an already vibrating string to go to a higher note. For pull-offs, you pull a finger off an already vibrating string to go to a lower note. The physics behind this are straightforward. You're suddenly changing the length of the vibrating portion of the string before its energy has dissipated and it stops vibrating. But this technique is deceptively simple. I was self-taught for my first couple years of playing and I always thought it was just put a finger down, lift a finger off. And it wasn't until I was in college studying classical guitar that I learned how to properly execute slurs. I was taught this in the context of playing on nylon strings, but I realized pretty quickly that it's universal. I think it was Pepe Romero who said something like, the right hand gives birth to the notes and the left hand sustains their life. With hammer-ons, it's not enough to just put a finger down. As the name implies, you have to give it a good whack. That is, if you still want the note to project, how hard you slam your finger down is going to determine the volume of the hammered on note. If you put it down gently, you can build in this dramatic decrescendo. When you're practicing your hammer-ons, however you do it, you should incorporate dynamics as much as possible. Generally, in practice and performance, the hammered-on note will be quieter than the first. But if you hammer onto a quiet note with some force, you can actually get louder. You just need to be careful not to plant your finger too firmly following the attack or else the note will be sharp. It's more in the speed of your finger than anything. Okay, now pull-offs. I think a lot of newer guitarists misconceive pull-offs as lift-offs. I sure did. If you just lift your finger off, the second note is all but guaranteed to be practically inaudible. Unless you're playing with like wicked high gain, line six on the insane setting. Even still, a proper pull-off for it to be sufficiently articulate requires you to pluck the string with your left hand. There's a classical guitar plucking technique called a rest stroke where your plucking finger comes to rest on an adjacent string. A pull off is kind of like that, but with the left hand. If you see, my finger is making more of a movement across the grain and coming off onto the wood. It also comes into contact with the adjacent string. Listen to the difference. This is trickier to master than hammer-ons, and there's a couple of things you want to be careful of. You don't want to bend the string too much before pulling your finger off. Naturally, you need to bend it a little, but it's so slight and instantaneous that the ear doesn't notice it. If you build up too much potential energy, you're going to noticeably raise the pitch before pulling off, and you're going to twang out the second note. Definitely not appropriate for all situations. The other thing you want to get right is your finger placement. You want very little flesh to travel across the string as you're pulling off, and you don't want your fingernail to catch either. Either one is going to have adverse effects on the tone. One thing that at least I find will tend to keep things under control is if you lean a little more pressure into the finger to which you're pulling off rather than the finger that's doing the pulling off. Which seems counterintuitive because this is the finger that's performing the action, but you want it to be a very light touch. So maybe you knew all this. If you did, awesome, keep it up. If not, now you have something to work on. Articulation, especially as it relates to rhythm and meter, is such an important thing to get right. When I listen to a guitarist perform, sloppy articulation is one of the things that stands out to me the most and gives me a strong impression of their abilities. Don't neglect it. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. See you next week.